It is 8.19. Still can't do laundry, but it's okay. Um, we have left for work around the same time he always does, so 7.30. Alright, been up and down all night with Jalen. She's currently asleep, finally. Um, documenting all of her stuff on the Mara Baby app. Again, not sponsored. I fed the girls. I also didn't see what breakfast. Um, I also fed the cats what I could. Um, they like Cheeto Pops, so I fed the cats some Cheeto Pops. Um, Caleb fed the cats up above the garage. Um, Strawberry cream checks mix because that's all we really have to feed them. Um, don't judge. Like, we're trying here. We are financially fucked right now, but everything is going okay because it's the end of the month and then we get food stamps. My dad gets food stamps first and then Caleb gets his food stamps in the fourth. So, yeah. I have a headache, and I'm severely sleep deprived, but it's okay. Um, like I said, I fed the girls Zula, Cheeto Puffs, milk in her bottle, and um, an Uncrustable. Their cartoons are on. And then I fed Amaris Cheeto Puffs, crackers, and milk. So, yeah. Um, I was watching Alyssa and Dallin, and now I'm watching Jess and Gabriel. Um, good morning, afternoon, night, depending on what it is when y'all are seeing this. Gravy is all sorts of cuddle. Um, six or seven days postpartum. I'm doing okay. The bleeding has slowed down tremendously. Um, and I, my stomach is still a little sore, nothing too, too bad. I will be recording a video talking about my labor and delivery experience. It will also be on my Savannah Parker podcast. Um, so, yeah. I'll also be on the Buckler fan. Um, speaking of, new video up on Buckler Gaming, so go check that out. Go subscribe to the Buckler fan, our new channel, Buckler Eats. And obviously, subscribe to this one. So, yeah. Everyone is happy. Um, I'm doing really, really good so far. I talked to my dad while I was upstairs a little bit. My mom ended up coming over a little after five. She's doing okay, even though um, we have some personal stuff going on that I can't and won't really talk about. Um, yeah. Caleb gets off around 2, 2.30 today because he's got physical therapy at 3 and then Jalen has her rehearing test at 3 as well. Um, so, yeah, um, we're going to be dropping off Ziva and, well, he is going to be dropping off Ziva and Amrith over at Sarah and Henry's. Um, after he gets back into town um and then what's gonna happen is we're gonna go to the hospital he's gonna go to his physical therapy which will last about an hour and i don't know how long her hearing test is going to take so i'll be with jay and then um If I'm done before him, I'll walk over to physical therapy. If he's done before me, he'll just walk over to whatever part of the clinic that we are in. Um, 
and then he'll drop me and Jalen off at home and then he will be picking up the other two girls and then bringing them home as well. My car isn't big enough for all, all of us yet. Um, we're getting a different car eventually. But yeah, that's a small little update going on. So, I went into the and Hi, so got dressed, took my bath like you guys saw. So my dad made some shrimp ramen and I can't tell if the cats like it, but I gave some to Scamp and I gave some to these guys. They also like Cheeto Puffs, so if anything, yeah, if they're really, really hungry enough, they'll eat it. My dad made the shrimp ramen to see if, like, he thinks that, if I think that the kittens upstairs would eat it, and... Since we are completely out of food until tomorrow, I just said for him to like do it. If they're hungry enough, they'll do it. And Caleb put some of that strawberry cream Chex mix in there anyways. So I'm like, yeah, do it. Like, they'll eat it. Probably not right away or whatnot, but they'll eat it. Like, even if that's what we have to do, start like stocking up on this kind of stuff. For the animals and everything, when we get low on food, that's exactly what we have to do. Because Spot is already dying because of the fact that we've been out of food for so long, and that is on us. And I told my dad that if Spot is gone, just end up burying him and, like, don't tell me about it because, like, I can't handle any more loss. And he said okay, and I told Caleb the same thing. I am going to tell Caleb about what my dad's doing. Just to get it used up too, because we don't eat shrimp ramen. Like, the only people that eat ramen in this house are me and Ziva and Amrith when um, we really don't have much more. And that's exactly what is happening now. We get food stamps tomorrow, uh, around the first of the month. But still, um, yeah, that's like just like the small little update. Um, I also took some trash out and I had Ziva pick up a part of her um, crib that way um, she can put her mattress back where it was and um, I'll make her bed and everything so yeah she is currently cleaning herself up because and she's really good at that cleaning herself up she's been learning a lot um, so she's currently cleaning herself up after having a really messy Uncrustable. So, yeah, that's just a small update. Okay, so I just got done changing Amrith's butt, giving them some toys, giving them more crackers, picking up just like the small little area to help with the fly infestation. Um, threw some more trash away. I fixed um, Ziva's... Um, mattress and yeah we're getting her a new one i'm gonna ask david and a few other people if he could help us get a new baby mattress so i'm gonna do that real quick look who woke up feeding time yeah and then after i get her all calmed down and changed um i'm gonna fold all that so yeah, watching Jack and JC vlogs. Haven't heard anything more from my dad yet. So, also shout out to our Caleb and I's friend Olivia. She is getting us a new crib mattress for Ziva, um, and then we're gonna be throwing the old one out tonight. So yeah.
So, yeah, shout out to you and good luck on your induction tomorrow. Yeah, our friend is getting induced tomorrow. Good luck. Everyone spam the comments with good luck, Olivia. Because my experience with induction did not go as well, but if I'm going to be doing an entire story time, which will be on the Buckler fam and on my podcast. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, the reason why it's not up right now is just because we've been bonding with our baby and just getting used to taking care of three kids. And with Caleb working Monday through Friday and only having weekends off, it is very, very difficult. So, yeah. Um, when I went in the living room earlier after I helped Ziva clean up and everything, um, I also grabbed all of the dirty clothes that were in there and then put them in the hallway and then I'm gonna, um, let Carl out actually so that way I can get all the dirty clothes and everything situated in the laundry room which you guys will see in a few minutes. Um, it's about 10, 16 right now. Baby girl is still eating. And yeah, that's a small update. Hi, I'm back in the tub because the bleeding started up again and it hurts. <laughs> so I'm just trying to relax. And this is asleep and so is Jay. It is 12.20 and now is the time for me to actually start getting the kids ready for the day because Caleb gets home at 2, 2.30, and then we have to um, take Amrith and Ziva to Sarah and Henry's. That way Caleb, Jalen, and I can go to the hospital. Caleb can do his physical therapy, and I can take Jalen to her um, hearing test thing since she failed it. Um, so, yeah. Um, Ziva is gonna need a bath before, um, I do anything, so I'm just gonna reuse this bath water. Some may say it's gross, others say it's smart to use the same bath water. I obviously don't do this a lot, but I'm kind of in a hurry. I'm just soaking in here so it's not like I'm using like soap and whatnot. I'm just relaxing my muscles because they hurt. So yeah, and um, today in physical therapy, Caleb said they might be acupuncturing him today. So yeah. That's a small update, I guess. Okay, so she's in the tub. Amrith is still asleep. So, what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna run upstairs after I get dressed because I'm in my bra and the diaper since I am still healing. I'm going to run up with clothes. Um and actually no I am going to I don't know what I'm going to do yet I'm thinking Ziva is just bathing right now so I'm currently watching the Justin Gabriel podcast before they decided to not do it anymore due to personal reasons Jalen is asleep so I'm I don't know I'm just thinking uh so yeah I really don't know uh, okay I'll catch you guys when I have my plan hi 12.37 I just got done um, getting Ziva's socks and shoes pull up shirt and um, pants shorts whatever ready to go um so let me show y'all like she is wearing pull-ups she's in size 3t she's going to be wearing mini mouse socks 
with her white shoes. With her shirt and her pants. She's a toddler, okay? Her clothes don't have to match. So, the plan is I'm gonna take that upstairs, get Ziva dressed upstairs. I also have a ponytail. I'm going to brush her hair and put it up upstairs. And then I'm gonna come back down, um, just dry her off. And then I'm going to get Amrith when she wakes up. I'm going to get all of her stuff gathered and then bring her up, then bring Jalen. And by that time, Caleb should be home. I'm going to pace myself though and do things slowly. That's why she is still in the tub, bathing, whatever. So. Um, yeah, keep in mind, also, for Jaylin, she still has more diapers and wipes in here, so let me show y'all and, like, talk to y'all real quick about what I have in the diaper bag just for Jaylin for right now. I did a hospital bag and, like, what's in my hospital bag and stuff, or I put it in a video, so, yeah. In this is uh, this little compartment. Usually there's nothing in it, but it's her bottle. I need to make her a fresh one. Then in this one, nothing. This compartment for bath time and everything. We have an extra pacifier, her comb, and her brush. And then in this compartment, there's my chapstick for some reason, and moist towelettes, um, just in case if we run out of wipes or whatnot, we always have those in there. I can take my chapstick out of there. And then in the big, big compartment, which for the moist towelettes, um, this is something that's in there is something just for me um it's my pads and everything okay. we basically here let me show y'all because i don't want to get all this out diapers Wipes, toys, no, no sucker, teething stuff, and her hat. That's basically what I have in her diaper bag. Um, I'm going to throw in a few outfits and everything um, later on if we ever um, go anywhere. And I'm also going to do it just because. Um, so yeah, that's just... I just wanted to throw that in there. Um, so yeah, I love you guys. I'm gonna start folding that while I'm waiting on Ziva. So give me one second. Actually, so that you guys know I'm not lying. I am feeling so much better, you guys. Um, not being pregnant anymore feels amazing. Now I'm watching Katrina Stewart, which is Sam Goldbach's ex girlfriend. Um, yeah, it feels 
amazing not being pregnant anymore Healing has been a process, but everything is working out, everything is going good. Today was another easy day with me and the kiddos. That's my dad's shirt. Olivia is typing, which is our friend. Okay, this is going to go in the living room. Yeah, I'm just trying to get through life one day at a time. There. So yeah, I'm going to fold this little laundry and I'll catch you guys afterwards. Okay, so my friend Olivia just dropped off a new crib mattress for Ziva. It's not as thick as the one that we had, but it'll do for now until Caleb can afford to get a new one. So, what's going to happen with that, because I brought it downstairs, um, is I'm just going to leave it by the um, crib. That way Caleb can clean the bottom and everything like that when he gets home before he takes the girls to Sarah and Henry's. Um, that way, um, it's, like, the bottom of it's clean, that way I can make her bed, um, or Caleb can make her bed, um, when we get back, and everything like that, so, it's down here now, I ran upstairs to grab it from them, and, um, Ziva is almost done in the tub, um, I just got done washing her hair, um, so, yeah. Um, she's playing with her toys right now. I'm going to allow her to keep playing just for a little bit longer. I'm currently watching Sam and Colby now. So, yeah. That's a small little update. I've been also keeping Caleb updated throughout the day. Spot ended up passing away, but the others look really, really good. My dad has not buried him yet, so, yeah. It's sad, but may he rest in peace. So, yeah. Jalen's awake. <laughs> okay, tub is drained. Ziva's upstairs. <sighs> Amrith's turn. Okay, Amrith is ready. And she is upstairs. All I have to do is just put her socks on, put their girls' coats on, and then load them up in Caleb's car. Now it's Jalen's turn. So, yeah. Okay, got her ready. I'm gonna take all this upstairs, come back down, I'll catch you guys when I come back down. Okay, I am quickly packing one of the diaper bags. Um, full, like, for Sarah and Henry. Um, just one of the diaper bags, Amrith's diaper bag to be exact. Um, actually, I should only need about two, but one of them can stay out. Just for the, like, couple of homes that were gone.
to be a little bit more prepared for her than Ziva. Diaper bag is ready to go. Okay, um, oh, yeah, Ziva needed another shirt. Caleb texted me saying that he should be almost done there. So yeah, I'm going to carry this upstairs and I'll catch you guys in a few minutes. Everything is up here now. Now it's a waiting game for Caleb to get here. So yeah. Waiting on Caleb, it is 2.40. Um, apparently he got off at 2.38. He's now heading home, but he's still got to get the girls gathered up, drop them off at Sarah's, and then come back, get me and Jay, load us up, go to the hospital, and do... The hearing thing, which I don't know where. Yeah, she's throwing a temper tantrum. <laughs> Ziva. Yeah. I'll let you know when Caleb gets here. Okay, the girls are dropped off over at Sarah and Henry's. I am with Jalen doing her hearing test. Caleb is at physical therapy. Get you guys under. She's done with her stuff.
stops for like a day and then it comes back and then it's bad and then it goes away again and then yeah it's a really weird thing mm -hmm. yeah it came back today and I'm just like god dang it I People thought, thought we were over this right <laughs> yeah my body is being weird when it comes to the recovery process other than that, I haven't really needed, uh, been needing to take my ibuprofen or. Good. Yeah, I've been handling the pain very well. So.
Everything went well. Amaris ended up passing her test. She got acupunctured. I got more electrocuted. I got electrocuted. We'll talk about it in the car because I gotta use the bathroom uh, real quick. Um, so, yeah. He's get the car started and warmed up. I'll meet you out there. I gotta use the bathroom real quick. Okay, never mind. I'll tell you, um, this. so when he put him in, he kind of felt it up mm -hmm. like that. And then when he hooked them up to go jump the cables and turn them on, this is all I felt. Ow! Yeah, I did. It was pulsating into my shoulder because he was running an electrical charge through my nerves. I don't know if you heard him or not, but when he put one of them in, he said the, mus the muscle around the pressure point felt like rubber. So, I was talking to him about my um, back issues now, now that I am no longer pregnant. Um, he recommended I see Nicole, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Is I'm going to give Nicole a call and... I am gonna schedule a physical therapy appointment. Can I ask you a question? Hmm. This was full. By the time we got here, by the time I picked you up, it was empty. And I had just picked this up before Turn I came and got you. Turn on the me. heater, it is cold. And I had just picked that up before I came and got you. Is that bad? So, yeah. Everything went extremely well. Now, Caleb's gonna take me somewhere and then He's gonna drop me and Jalen off at home, and then he's gonna go pick up Amrith and Ziva, and then start cooking supper. Which I don't know what the fuck we're gonna have. I'm probably just gonna stick with grilled cheese and my leftover tomato soup again. I don't know though, we'll see. Maybe I'll have ramen, I don't know. And I know what you're gonna say about what I, when I take you by this place, but there's a reason I'm showing you. I'll catch you guys whenever we get to wherever the fuck Caleb's taking you. I have no idea where he's taking me. We did pass the area where he wrecked his car. Still hate that. Okay, I don't know where the fuck he is taking me. He said it's a surprise, but I, 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 I don't. Huh? side. 
those branches? Uh-huh. Each of those branches looked like a full fucking tree. So you just showed me where you worked today? Yeah. Like you think that's got a lot of branches on it? Yeah. 